What does the seller have to pay when selling a house? This is a surprise to most sellers, especially first time selling your house. There are fixed costs and then variable costs. After watching this video, you will know exactly right after this. Hey, thanks for staying with me here. I'm Sphere Popolevsky with Supreme Home Sales. As a Staten Island realtor, I love helping you navigate the home selling process. Oh, hint, stay to the end where I'll show you exactly how easy it is to do the math. Are you ready? I am. First thing to remember is in New York State, when selling a house, we must pay a transfer tax. The second thing to remember is that in New York State, when selling a house is that we pay transfer tax to New York State and New York City transfer tax. Third to remember is transfer tax percentage depends on the sale price. When you are selling a house, everything that you have to pay is what is called the closing cost. The closing costs will have fixed charges. Transfer taxes, New York State and New York City are fixed they are non-negotiable because transfer taxes are charged as a percentage and the percentage is set and it is directly related to the sale price of the house. I will do the transfer tax numbers for you in a few. Be sure to stick around. The next fixed fee in your closing costs when selling a house is the deed recording fee. It's non-negotiable because that is what the county clerk's office charges. What are you gonna do? Negotiate with the clerk? The next thing you have to pay when you're selling a house is the real estate attorney you hire to handle the legal stuff of your sale. That is negotiable. Some attorneys charge more than others, but you can shop around and you could see who you like and feel comfortable with. Mortgage balance. The mortgage balance technically isn't closing cost, but it is included. If you have a mortgage balance on the property during the closing, when you are selling a house, the bank isn't going to trust you to pay them back after the fact. If your house is paid off prior to you selling your house, then no need to worry about the mortgage payoff. Just keep in mind that any outstanding debts you may have that are directly related to the house you are selling will be paid during the closing of escrow. If you have hired a realtor to sell your house, your realtor will get paid for their services at the time of the closing. So let's recap the closing costs the seller have to pay when selling the house. One, New York State transfer tax. Two, New York City transfer tax. Three, deed transfer and deeds recording. Four, real estate attorney. Let's look at the New York State and New York City transfer tax as I promised to you to show you the numbers. We are selling a house in Staten Island. Most homes will sell between 500,000 to one and a half million dollars and the rest majority will be condominiums or small townhouses selling under 500,000. If your house is selling between 500,000 and one and a half million, the total combined transfer tax is 1.825%. The breakdown is 0.40% for New York State and 1.425 for New York City transfer tax. If you are selling your condo or house under 500,000, the combined transfer tax you have to pay when selling this house is 1.4%. The breakdown here is for New York State transfer tax is 0.4% and for New York City transfer tax is 1% even. You might be already in your closing time on the sale of your house or you might be like me and you are doing your homework in advance. I did a video about the house closing process for sellers. You can watch it next right there. It's about what happens during the closing and the documents you will be signing. After you watch this video, you will feel comfortable at the closing table. Consider subscribing to my channel. Like this video, please. 
and I will see you Monday. Thank you for watching.